Hey you guys, it's me, Rita Wells, and I'm here to do your reading. It's a general collective reading for the High Level Soulmates Twin Flames. And I was I just finished one for karmic, masculine, and feminine energies. Um, I was feeling like between divine masculine and divine feminine, but spirit is telling me this is going to be about divine masculine energies because I am picking up on a masculine energy that wants to explain about the delay. And so this is for you that are in separation. That's mostly who I deal with. And um, I actually, I have worked with twins that are living in the same house, but they're having union issues. <laughs> so I've, I've coached, I have coached twin flame couples together, um, but in, in the same house. Um, but this is mostly those that are in some form of separation. So you can be in the same, living in the same house, but not together. And you know what that's like. Uh, that's for a very small few but this is uh divine masculine is really coming through of why there was a delay and so we're gonna pull some cards and see about that i'm using the twin tarot today it has uh only the major arcana from the tarot and they have uh the reversal the dark aspect and the light aspect so as you can see this is the light the upright and this is the dark so I'm going to use this because Spirit pulled me to use the Twin Tarot for the Divine Masculine and what he's dealing with and why there's a delay. And I think we're going to get into some detail. So this is corresponding to the last reading I did too. That's of the same day. So if you do want to go look at that one as well, welcome if you're new. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And if you guys want to do a reading, um, just take a look down below. Send me an email. I am still booking for the last two weeks. I have Tuesdays and Thursdays open. I booked up the other day. So if you can't work on a Tuesday or a Thursday, email me and we can try to fit you in. But those are my remaining days for this week, next week, and the remaining of June. So let's take a look here. What is going on? What is going on for the Divine Masculine Spirit? Thank you, Father. You want to bring through the masculine and what he wants to say. Say. This is why he's he's slow to progress right now. Okay. <laughs> this is so fast. And we have the devil with the lovers. So the devil upright with the lovers in reverse. And this is what's creating separation. If you take a look at these two cards, he's dealing with this uh, toxicity that makes it feel good, you know, in his situation. But he knows that it's creating separation in this in in with the twins okay so they're together but they're looking in different directions and he knows that this is pat pan who would play the flute and hypnotize people it's a demon it's a dark entity um that walked the earth and um, it's one of the ancient gods supposedly that walked the earth and would hypnotize it's very much like the pied piper and would hypnotize people with this beautiful music and have them carried away and so he is aware of that this is creating some sort of separation. I love that Spirit asked me to use this deck because it's like you guys could be from two different cultures, two different races, but it may be hard to merge that. And there's a tree and you guys are meant to have a family together. So I'm picking up on family as well. So this may be having a spirit child. I'm picking up a spirit child, the spirit child here. Oh, I just saw that as I was saying that. So the spirit child wants to come in. This masculine knows of the spirit child needs to be birthed in this union so that's not for everyone but for some of you and um this is about yeah knowing that this is causing a separation here okay and we have here the hierophant with the sun so this is like breaking um <laughs> i love these cards and the imagery that came through for you guys this is why I love following spirit, my intuition. It's so perfect. So this is like the strict structure of like, you have to do this in your marriage, in your, how you want to have a relation. This is what relationships are like. And this is, they want me to put it underneath the devil here because this is what they're dealing with right now in their karmic situations. It could be family. It could be tradition. You don't do this to people. When you build a home, you follow through, you stay by their side, you work through all the hard times. And you know with twins it's not like that you don't need to suffer it's not a suffering with twins you go through the suffering when you're healing when you're in separation you don't suffer when you come back into union that's that's and if you guys want to know more about dark energy and i'm going to be talking about that more in my new dark work series that's out you might want to listen to the one that's just out today 
and I just told about my story, but I'm going to talk about Alien Love Bite and how there's the dark forces have created and mimic twin flame unions. Twin flame unions, when they come into union, do not suffer. It's healing completely. So if you're seeing twin flames out there that say they're in union and they are still suffering, that's a dark force. Okay. And I'm just going to claim that. I know people don't like that, but it's true. <laughs> like, and you can go listen to my story about how I know what's dark and what's light. So, um, and I've worked with some of these twin flames who claim to be twin flames in the community. They're not. Okay. <laughs> Um, and I'll claim that I'll take that I'll take that to my dying deathbed with me because I know what's I know it and um, this toxicity is like this is the tradition this is what you have to be doing and this masculine was really stuck in this situation and it created this this uh, separation here but this masculine is also saying I, I, it's helped us to find the innocence Look at this horse so your masculine may be a horse uh, a free spirit, uh, riding, look at these two children, just laughing, illumination, happiness. It's like innocence. And this is God's love. This is how it is. It's like the innocence of being able to find the purity of spirit again in yourself. And so this is like, you know, these two adults here, you know, um, coming out of this, you know, and, and realizing, wow, we had to go through the separation to find this because you're backtracking in your healing process to find your truest self. So you go back to your most, you know, the innocence of when you first came here. Um, that's the purest. And uh, that's what this masculine knows that this separation has brought this through. And so one more. Well, two more are going to come out. So it says. Oh, not those ones. That slipped in with my hand. So, this masculine says this is what he needs to do. He needs to cut the ties and return to the past, okay? To bring this masculine feminine loyalty. There's two, two puppies here who are loyal. Both twins are loyal. This masculine knows that he's loyal. He knows this feminine is loyal. And these karmic ties are being, are being completely severed now so that he can return to the past. That there's unfinished business to do here. And that's what he's doing right now so uh, we can have this renewal. The renewal hasn't happened yet, okay, because he needs to return and cut these ties. So he really wants to reiterate that. It's not that he's ignoring you, Divine Feminine. It's like he really wants to clean up this mess. I'm going to pull. I feel like there's more oracles. We're going to do more oracles. Um, what else do you want, Spirit? We're going to get an emotion from him, too, so let's do that first. We're going to see about his emotions, because I feel like he wants to come right this time, is what I'm feeling, and this masculine wants to make it right, and he doesn't want to just come and not have anything ready for Divine Feminine. So let's get his emotion about the situation, Spirit. What's going on with the Divine Masculine, if you wanted to? bring through for the Divine Feminine here. What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? What is going on, what is going on for the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? Whatever needs to come through. There's one more. Yeah. So he's feeling very hopeful is what I'm getting. He he sees you in his glory, Divine Feminine. He, he wants to tell you we are in union no matter what. I'm dealing with this toxic hierophant here. I'm dealing with this devil. I'm dealing with all of this. Um, people telling me what I need to do, but I just know that I am completely feeling you in this energy. He recognizes Divine Feminine on the inside and really wants to bring that message through because I feel that uh, we get lost in the non-action in the 3D world, and you can't. Twin flames are nothing about the 3D world. It's all about your intuition. And if it's all about your intuition, you're going to know energy very strongly. So that's why I'm suggesting listening to the dark works, because um, I'm going to be helping you guys through a lot of this dark stuff so that you know where you're being siphoned yourself, um, because I know a lot of twins are really stuck. And... And if you find, there's like this one teacher out there, I can't remember, but I think she's pretty prominent. She, uh, I did a session with her too, and she was like, oh, you can't go into the black magic, that doesn't exist. And I'm like, okay, whatever. This person has, it's not even a twin flame thing. If you can't even acknowledge that there's dark forces at play, like what? 
like every religion every teaching out there has talked about the jinns or the the entities or the demons like it's a thing okay like uh, so um yeah there's definitely he's acknowledging i feel you i see you especially when i sleep i'm connected to you okay and i feel this i know that we're in separation but we're coming into union so he wants to bring that into his present moment okay this is in the present moment these are also his actions situation action outcome okay and the outcome here is breaking the ties to have this renewal it hasn't happened yet but it's coming okay and he's going to make this happy happen because he's awakened to it so i love this because it's like separation and union and knowing that his feminine is just is fine and content and is holding the space for this divine masculine this is divine feminine he feels you he feels you completely and um i love this because these two came out here masculine and feminine energy right i feel you i know you um we're together i've enlightened i've gained this knowing of the father energy i am aware to what's going on now and so his awareness and see how he's just waking up he's just coming out of this darkness uh he's just waking up to it so he's going to come forward again when he's ready it's playing into the last reading so go look at the last reading guys and um he has this work to finish first before he comes forward so yeah let's pull some more oracles what else is going on spirit with the divine masculine let's see what he's dealing with in his toxic world he's really standing up to people they feel it's it's more than just the karmic energy it could be family could be co-workers it's like what are you doing like you're breaking work contracts we had this to build this with you know the karmic partner or, or we were going to do this he's backing out of a whole bunch of stuff he's like no and like you can't do that like he's dealing with some very domineering people but he's realized that these dominating people have been doing this to him his entire life and so he's at the point where he's like no like this this can't happen anymore um he has to deal with it so what is this masculine dealing with spirit in his current life here with this and his his union with his feminine is pulling him through this okay it's exactly it ego look at this He's standing up to all these people. It's feeling. It's like I'm standing up to all these people. Like I can't. Like I'm telling all of you. And look at them. They're all with their nice fancy wine glasses. And he's like, no. He's coming into this enlightened state of standing his ground and being like, no. I know what I want. I'm dealing with the ego. That's exactly what I was feeling. Anything else here? He's he's grateful for this. He knows how it's bringing him his passion it's bringing him his balance yeah look at this is bringing karmic justice so he's he's grateful for this energy right now it's giving him an opportunity he knows his divine feminine is is allowing him that space to find himself and it's so important because um he's realizing how the karmic energies would never have given him the space and this amount of time in separation and still know that his feminine is still there with him and um he recognizes that and it's he's has so much gratitude for this divine feminine here who's birthing him in a sense you know um because that's what feminines do you birth your masculine and um you give that nurturing um you don't chastise him like a child <laughs> you love him like you would love anybody else because that's divine feminine energy you know and a lot of distorted feminines don't understand that they think they have to chastise a man uh, let's just demoralize men like hello no i don't think so that's why i had uh my my i have a boy and a girl um i have a transgender child who's a boy but th her energy is female but yeah it's like the the masculine energy and, and knowing yeah. that these men need this type of emotional support having passion to serve as well and knowing that he's having this passion for his divine feminine and it's going to bring karmic justice and look at how upset all these people are that are trying to chastise him he's like in this place of like i'm standing up for myself against his ego to bring in this karmic justice but look how many people are pissing off it's like yeah you will you will because the energies of siphoning are strong let me tell you strong <laughs> and so yeah this i'm just making room for this so this this masculine energy here knows it's causing separation know they're coming into union and he knows that his feminine knows we're gonna get four 
exactly what I was feeling. So he knows that it, <laughs> this divine feminine is going to hold that space and is in her, and is her, in her complete joy here. Okay. And is willing to discover this with the divine feminine energy. Okay. So he's working hard. He's working really hard right now, guys. And he wants you to know that putting in all that hard work, knowing that it's going to reap the benefits. Um, He's praying and it's dissipating any energies that are that's keeping them apart. Okay, so he's gaining power in the solar plexus. If you've been having any solar plexus energy shifts, digestion issues, any of that guys recently, that's a massive shift in the energy of the Kundalini rising in your masculine in the solar plexus. Okay, and the energy is dissipating of you know anything karmic here because he's been working really hard on that. Let's pull one more about that dissipating energy. What is that dissipating energy? Thank you. Of his complacency to serve. Look at this. To come into mission. To work with Divine Feminine. So that's the complacency that he had before. And that's going away. Okay. That, that is completely healing. So that energy is really beautiful. He, he's grounding it too. Because it's root chakra. And it's solar plexus. So anything in his self-esteem. He's being guided, you know, to ground his self-discovery, to work hard at this, to pray for this, to feel his divine feminine, to know that he's she's on his side in, in the energies and that she's giving him the space to deal with all of this, like, traumatic trauma drama that these people in his life are trying to tell him what to do. They're all trying to tell him what to do. And this masculine may have been very much a people pleaser, you know, like, ugh. Okay, like, I'm just going to do it. It's fine. I'll help you. I'll do this. But he doesn't really want to do that anymore. He wants to choose himself. He's been doing this for years. It's like, it's quite over it. So he's cutting ties and for this renewal here. And he's just gained a level amount of awakening. That's what I was feeling last week in the energies, you guys. We have creation coming forward. What else? We have two more. Okay, thank you. So let's take a look. We have creation. So creator is definitely coming in, okay? It could be uh, earth or mother energy or father energy, either or. But it's creator energy, God, spirit, universe that's coming in to cut these ties so that he can move back into the past to clear up any unfinished business, the loyal heart, to work on this judgment call here. We have trickery and gossip. Look at this, okay? A lot of people talking about this connection. Look at this. Okay. I love this because this card actually is like people in my own journey. Like if you listen to the dark works, this woman looks just like, <laughs> looks just like the woman who did black magic on me. And this looks like my twins karmic. Like I can't even with that. Like, isn't that funny? So <laughs> it's like, this is mean. This is what people are doing to your masculine. Like this big old mean dragon. Like I'm going to hold this acorn from you. So you can't get it like blackmailing. Say so you can't do this. You can't invest in the pull out. You can't, every, it's affecting everybody. So what? This masculine has to tediously break these ties. And and this person here looks like the, the medicine, the, if you listen to my story, the person that did black magic on me, his, this is the fire guy that does whatever, all black magic. Look, you can't make that up. I can't make that up. It looks <laughs> just like that. I didn't print these cards. These cards aren't mine. Um, and so that energy is coming in that everyone's talking and trying to trick and gossip and it's causing a lot of chaos, but he knows this masculine has an enlightenment. Okay. And it's very similar to this vanity card that he's breaking this vanity card to God. He's the light of the father that's coming in and he's like breaking and he's following the mysticism. He's been having signs and visions and he believes in the mysticism. He knows, he knows nobody else believes it. That's where people think you're crazy. Trust me people think I'm insane <laughs> but it's the mysticism and when you gain that kind of level of understanding people are gonna think you're crazy that's why they hung Jesus on the cross I can't even it's like so funny that's why they poisoned Buddha and gave him a, a poison mushroom because the visions and things that you know and things that you see it's like people are like no that's not real because it takes away from their own power of what they're doing and that's what this masculine is doing he was empowering everybody around him and no one was helping him nobody was helping him and he's really tired of it and he's trusting his enlightenment and the mysticism to come forward so yeah it's 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 really pretty awesome here um 
But let's see if we can get some. I, I don't feel like pulling tarot. I'm asking tarot, and I don't feel like I'm going to clarify. I feel like let's just get some overall energies that he wanted to say. Um, let's get some other oracles and see if there's a time frame. Um, he is working on this renewal process. He's breaking. Uh, there's a lot of people involved in this, so he's breaking a lot of ties to enhance the light in this, okay, to come forward. Do you have spirit any messages? Uh, for the viewer, please, in regards to my masculine and where they're at right now. Yeah, I'm not feeling tarot for some strange reason. Um, I don't know why. So, it's just, it is what it is. I think the imagery and everything else. So, let's clarify here, just the end, the last two cards of cutting ties. That's why things haven't started, because he's still honing his fire. Spirit is saying about that. Because <laughs> he wants to romance the Divine Feminine, so... He wants the time and space to properly do this, and that's why it's not the right time right now, because he tell, he can't get away from whatever he's doing. And so what is this gossip and trickery in his life? Yeah. He's creating the opportunity out of this trickery, okay? He, he's breaking it to create um, big, happy changes here, okay? And what about this ego stuff and this higher fan devil that he's dealing with he's recovering okay guys so he he has uh ended things for his abundance here he's recovering for his abundance to bring it to divine feminine okay he knows in the near future you're he's going to be ready look at this okay in the near future he is ready okay so there is a little bit of a time there so do not worry my divine feminine okay so this masculine is definitely coming forward he's he keep just wait and look for signs okay so some beautiful messages there from your divine masculine let's see what other messages he has for you we're going to do some messages too from my deck and let's grab some of these and yeah let's do the yeah let's do those and then that will be it we'll do three more decks what else spirit what else would the divine masculine like to say to the divine feminine that's what the divine masculine would like to say towards the divine feminine. What else would the divine masculine like to say towards the divine feminine? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> ah, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. So, yeah, really, look at this. So, right now, he's like, divine feminine, I'm in between worlds, okay? I'm definitely moving from gray to color, all right? So that's why I'm not coming forward. I'm out to sea doing this work. I'm out catching the fish I'm out in the middle of some rough waters, all right? I'm working with all that glitters. I'm taking off the mask from the ego stuff that has kept me from you, okay? So we can have a new happy, happy new life together. Wow, guys. This is some beautiful energies that are coming through, and I'm going to do the Divine Counterparts and Separation. Let's see, my deck is like, I need to like shuffle it the other way. <laughs> oh my god. Bear with me, because I'm like, oh my god, it's getting too like wrinkled. Sometimes I use it the other way, you know? You know what? to straighten them out. What is going on to my masculine towards the divine feminine? Oh my god, it's so slippery. What is going on with divine masculine towards? I always try to keep it nice and neat. I don't know how some tarot readers make it so nice and neat. Mine are like <laughs> kudos to you guys and slob. Okay, what is going on with divine masculine towards the divine feminine? What do you think you'd like to say? Thank you, Scrub. This is what he wants that's what he wants so you know we have to let go of the impatience and keep doing our work right to find feminine because this is unraveling i keep seeing this right it's unraveling right oh my god oh my guys i love you i'm gonna cry it's so beautiful 
He's like, that's what's happening. Okay? Union. Emperor. I love you. That's what he's saying. So just know, and that was a very profound message that I know had to come through today because he's really working on clearing things up. He wants to know uh, this connection. He wants happy new life. He's taking off the mask. He is really fighting a hard battle right now. Send him love, send him prayers. Okay, guys? He's uh, dealing with a lot of dark energy, a lot of dark energy. That's why I've decided to also do the dark works. The readings I've done lately, I've seen so many people coming to me and I've realized I have a lot of information to help people because I've been doing this work for almost 30 years now. And dark, ha I, God threw me into darkness. I, if anything, I'm, I know I'm one of the people that can deal with some really, really dark things. <sighs> Freak my life, but that's just how it is. I mean, it's not something that I ever thought I wanted to do, but it's just how it is. So... Um, listen to my dark work series if you guys want a new perspective of really what dark energy is. Not just shadow work. There's dark things out there. You need to be aware of who you're actually working with. So let's see some final messages from Divine Masculine to you, Divine Feminine. If it's black that turns up, it means that he's feeling your telepathic messages and he's hearing it inside of himself. Okay, Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. here wow we've got quite a few masculine messages look at this so he's feeling you i keep getting attacked by darker forces i can't seem to pull out of it are you in a dark space so he's feeling he is in a dark space he's feeling uh being attacked by demons and darkness that's exactly what i'm saying so he's working on it by cutting these ties out of his life and he doesn't want it anymore. So he he feels uh, Divine Feminine may be going through the same thing. So again, for some of you, that people that I work with, uh, I work with people who um, are very sensitive and who darker forces try to attach to and hurt. So if you've been siphoned or you're having trouble, send me an email and we can talk about it. Um, and I can help you, you can book a session or we can do a reading, okay? Um, messages from the Divine Masculine. I knew it was you. The more we got to know one another, something stirred deeply within me. You fascinate me. You have awakened a part of me I had forgotten. In fact, I didn't even know this type of love existed. <laughs> you're following, you're, sorry, you're following. Your flowering heart called me, but like a hummingbird, I could not linger for long. Can you forgive me? Oh, beautiful. Our love is magic. It's what songs and poems are written about. I love you. That's I love you twice there. It's so beautiful. Yes, I'm looking at your social media. <laughs> That's funny. And I need to trust that you won't push me when I return. Can we please start as friends? I need to find my footing. So he may come back as friends to find his footing but he definitely wants us with you. I mean, I can't with these cards, Union Emperor, I love you. Guys, beautiful messages. If you want a reading, hit me up with an email. If you would like to work more with me, send me an email. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Have an awesome Monday. Bye, guys.